Hi, Patriots fans. This is not your first rodeo. You know how it works. The Patriots win the big game. The quarterback makes a big pass. I stand here in the end zone. I talk about the quarterback who made the big pass, and then we throw into the locker room for a soundbite from the quarterback who made the big pass. In my NFL career, is my first touchdown pass. Tell us about it. <coughs> Coach dialed up uh, the double pass. We've, we've had it in for a little bit, and finally got it called, and I saw that the we all saw that the, the coverage, what we wanted, was going to be there, and we were able to execute the play. We've hit it in practice a few times, so, you know, practice execution becomes game reality, and I practice in the backyard with Danny all the time, so, you know, we, we've been secretly practicing that for a while. All right, you know exactly where I was going with that, didn't you? Pass from Brady. Over to Julian Edelman, a former college quarterback. He throws the ball in the air to Danny Amendola. He ends up with a 51-yard touchdown completion. It ties the game 28-28. The Patriots go on to win this playoff game against the Baltimore Ravens 35-31. Folks, this was indeed a thriller in Foxborough. The Patriots were down 14-0. They were down 28-14. It was a lot of grumbling, a lot of booing in the first half at Gillette Stadium. There was a key interception by Brady. Steve Smith beat Darrell Rivas for a touchdown in the first quarter. Everything seemed to be going wrong. We needed a lot of plays. You know, we played from behind, which is not the way that we wanted to play. Um, you know, playing these guys from ahead was the best way to play them. And, uh, you know, behind twice by 14 wasn't necessarily in the plan. So it took a lot of good execution to overcome it. I feel like we played, you know, we played well enough to win the game. And, um, you know, I, I still feel like we can play better, but you know, we, we beat a good team tonight. Uh, they're well coached and, and they play really hard. And you know, testament to Julian, he's a, he's a you know a great arm and a great athlete. So he put it he put it on the money, that's for sure. So it was a good throw. He throws it better than I did. He spun it. It was a perfect spiral right in stride. So I got to make some rules. They can't throw better than I can. So, but he did. Play our football now. I mean, it's uh, you got to be able to play your best. In, in situations. We just stuck together as a team. Uh, just took one play at a time and knew you just couldn't put up two touchdowns in one play, so we just stuck together. It feels good. We have a great opportunity ahead of us to play a championship game at home. And, uh, you know, we're going to need our best week. Obviously, playing the second, first or second best, one of the best teams in the AFC who's earned the right to be here. And, uh, you know, we certainly earned it. And uh, we're proud of it, but we got bigger goals ahead. Brady's healthy, Gronk is healthy, they have wideouts, they have an improved defense. This was the game the Patriots should have won. The fact that they were down 14-0 and 28-14 had this place, again, as I said earlier, very snarky. So, the Patriots go on, they win, they play the AFC title game next week, and then it's on to, who knows, maybe Phoenix. For the Herald Press Box with videographer Bob Grime in a very chilly Gillette Stadium, this is Steve Buckley. <laughs>